Welcome to the channel, guys. Get woke, go broke. Times do. <laughs> I have to say again. What is going on? What is going on? Tim Miller, my man. What are you doing? So I did a video yesterday, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below, where I discussed the reshoots of Terminator Dark Fate, and I said that they were, you know, they were getting woke about it all. And that is what has spurred on all of the reshoots. Uh, basically, saying that they are well aware that they're dealing with something crap. Now, it's interesting timing that all of the rumours of the reshoots will come out, and now we are getting damage control articles from Variety. Interesting timing, do you not think? Not only that, we are getting a, a return to form. It is the coup de grace of, uh, of the media right now. They are they're already hating and attacking the fans. Now, the irony is... Uh, like you only need to read the headline, right? Terminator Dark Fate director. Why Mackenzie Davies will scare the fuck out of misogynists. Okay. Who... What? They're preempting misogynistic attacks. That's not good. Don't do that. Because uh, you're going to rile people up in the political climate that we live in. That's not smart. Please don't do that. Secondly, they're already, uh, you know, pre preempting people just criticizing it like they have been. So let's get into it. Because again, this is all just hilarious stuff. And they really do. They, they are. It's funny because you can't, you, 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 like, you can't even write this stuff. Like, it's so comical. So this is an interview that he did with Variety. How will you win over Hall H with this new take on Terminator? Because for those that are not aware, they are appearing at Hall H. Now, it's funny that they say, scare the F out of misogynists. But who's headlining that Hall H panel? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Who's Arnold Schwarzenegger? typically synonymous with well bodybuilders for starters what are bodybuilders generally accused of being misogynist meatheads know your target audience what are you doing what are you doing like hollywood what the what are you doing guys so, so anyway it says if i was a nerd and i am because apparently that's what we need to say at the start of these interviews just to try and, you know, I I can I can sympathise with you guys. I'm a nerd. Talk with me. I'm on your level. I'm a nerd. Shut up, Tim Miller. I always imagine reading about plot or story and how I would feel as a fan. I can be objective that way. Ha ha ha! Can you, buddy? You'll scare the F out of misogynists. I can be objective that way. All right. Good one. Like I did with Deadpool. When I read online when we announced the film Terminator 6, for F's sake, why don't they let it die? I understand where those people are coming from. If it's not great, then we've had enough. Yeah, you're stating the obvious. I think most people have had enough anyway. After Deadpool, there were a lot of projects I could have chosen. Oh, simmer down. But I really wanted to see Linda Hamilton come back to personally continue her story as Sarah Connor. But we know she's not the future of the Resistance now. What are you doing? Like James Cameron, I always find stories about women are much more interesting than men picking up guns. I'd l why though? Now I don't, I don't necessarily disagree with this statement, but I would love to find out why. Why is this more interesting? Because again, it's kind of it's bleeding with wokeness. This article. I find stories about women much more interesting than men. Okay, but why? Tell me why. Jim's movies are grounded in reality and character and just happen to have this time travel and robots. I'm wired the same way. You know, he might be called uh, Jim Cameron, but it's a far cry from Tim Miller. I want to give the audience a story about Sarah and these new characters and make everything else as realistic as possible. Hence why we're getting the Border Patrol, yes? Now, this is where we get to the hilarious stuff, because this is where we get to all the misogynistic crap. Uh, Mackenzie Davies and her character Grace feel like something very new for a franchise like this. What brought her there? How is she anything new for a franchise like The Terminator, when in Terminator 2, we opened with Sarah Connor doing chin-ups? Oh, 
Silly me. Silly me. She's new to Terminator because she's got the shortest hair possible. That must be it, right? Is that... No, no am I... Oh, I'm wrong. Sorry. Um, how is she very new for this franchise? Variety, what are you doing? Uh, before we brought in screenwriters, we did a room with novelists at my request because they're world builders and they're reinventing the franchise. Oh, and we're reinventing the franchise. So this is where we need to be concerned. We are reinventing the franchise. So this, in my head, it just confirms the plot leaks. Bang! John Connor dead opening act. Everything else. Ridiculous. Uh, one was Joe Abercrombie, the first Law series, who pointed out that the Terminator films tend to have a trinity of main characters. One of those is the Protector, the Kyle Reese character, uh, portrayed by Michael Bean in the original, Jai Courtney and Anton Yelchin in sequels. Joe came out with this idea that a new Protector from the future is a machine fighter. It's a painful life, and they're scarred and take, out, take a lot of drugs to combat the pain of what's been done to them. They don't live a long time, it's a very sacrificial role. They risk death to save others. And from the first suggestion, it was always a woman. Why, though? Why? Because that's what we live in now. Women everything. It just has to be women, doesn't it? We had to look for someone who has the physicality. But I'm very sensitive to actors. I didn't just want a woman who could physically fit the role, but emotionally as well. Mackenzie really wanted to do it. She came after the role. She worked harder than anybody. Now... I will say, I don't mind Mackenzie Davies as an actor. If you don't know who she is, she was in Blade Runner 2049, and she did a fine job. She's not a bad actor at all. Now here we go. An early Dark Fate poster received backlash, calling Davies and co-stars feminazis and other chauvinist hate speech. How do you think she'll be received in the room at Comic-Con? Now look. Just, I'm going to... Just for starters here, right? Why can't anyone have any... The, a lot of people were just talking about it initially without this feminazi comments. None of this nonsense. We were just going... It looks like they've gone woke. There's no John Connor. What's going on? That was the initial critique. It was actually quite subdued. We didn't really... Because we didn't know much. We were more concerned about what was going on when we see a poster and it's just all women which is a natural thing in this economic climate variety you know um that that is what people would be jumping to because that's the world we live in at this moment people don't want this heavy amount of woke politics shoved down their throats in their movies they go to the films more often than not for escapism especially when the world is so shit at the moment so you know that that was the natural thing that people were going to do and they know that that's why they released the goddamn poster. And he says, uh, if you're at all enlightened, she'll play like gangbusters. Oh, you have to be enlightened, do you, Tim Miller? Yeah, la de da. Jasper, I've, I've, got to, I've got to consult my dog on this. Jasper, mate. No, nah, he doesn't give a fuck either. If you're a closet misogynist, she'll scare the F out of you. What about all of the closet misandrists? Oh, no, wait, they're not closeted anymore because it's cool to be a misandrist. You're sounding a lot like a misandrist, Tim Miller. Because she's tough and strong, but very feminine. We did not trade certain gender traits for others. She's just very strong, and that frightens some dudes. You can see online the responses to some of the, some of the early shit that's out there. Trolls on the internet. I don't give a F. Look, it's not trolls. It's not trolls at all. A video like this is not trolling. A video like this is taking your interview and just spinning another narrative from it. It's not trolling. You cannot claim everything that is critique to be trolling. That is such a... Your basis of an argument is nothing. It's just, hey, I put this out there. If you don't like it, you're a troll. I, I lost subscribers for my video yesterday. I don't think they're trolls. I do think they have the inability to self-censor, but I don't think they're a troll. You know, I get critiqued all the time. I released a video about the Black Mermaid. I got called a racist. Are those people trolls? Yeah, probably, because they clearly didn't watch the video. 
But when you are looking at something like this and going, look, mate, you probably shouldn't be saying that, or look, this looks quite woke to me, or where's John Connor? We'd like to see John Connor because he's been built up as this massive character for all of these years, five films worth. It's not, it's not trolling though, is it, guys? At all. You're way off base here, mate. You're way off base, Tim. Message me, mate. We'll have a conversation. Um, and as well, like I said, who headlines this franchise every single time? Who is the person that you get in to guarantee a certain part of male audience? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Why are you calling everyone misogynist then? If you, you're literally getting him in to bait men to come and watch the film? You are such a hypocrite. Such a hypocrite. <sighs> now, there's nothing else really to say about this. When everyone cries that we are misogynists or, you know, anyone with anything remotely, uh, crit you know, critical of anything to say, we're, we become internet trolls. But where were the internet trolls when it was Wonder Woman? When that smashed it and did great and everyone praised it. There were no trolls then, were there? There were no misogynists there, were there? But why? What, sorry, why? I'm so confused. Where were the misogynists when Alita Battle Angel came out? And everyone that says I hated it, go watch my, like, I hate women and stuff like that. Go watch my review of Alita Battle Angel. I loved that film. I thought it was an incredibly touching love film. I thought it was great. But where were the misogynists then? Oh, no, wait. There weren't any because it was a good film and people didn't attack men for, for, for being critical of it. Oh, no, wait. No one was critical of it. Because it was a good film. If you release utter trash and then don't expect critique, you're a moron. All of these people that cry racism, cry sexism, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, I, I've been branded a racist recently. How? How? been branded sexist recently how what are you gonna do when when i've reviewed movies with female leads massively high i've highly recommended them i've said you must go and watch this film and black male characters and i've said this is a good film i like this film black directors uh, this is a good film well constructed technical technically near perfect what are you gonna say your argument falls apart and it's the same here your argument falls apart that everyone's a misogynist when you have hired to front everything, hired to front Hall H, and you, you, you literally, honestly, if he died, you'd dig him up from the grave just to get him back. You, you use him for CG, Arnold Schwarzenegger. How is anyone a misogynist when you are literally trying to incite a certain populace of the male um, gender to come and watch your film? You're way off base here. So anyway, get woke, go broke. This is damage control at its finest. It is literally saying if you don't like this film, you're a sexist, you're a misogynist. And you, this stuff just writes itself. This is becoming a meme. This movie is now a meme. This is this is the dark fate of the Terminator franchise. <laughs> oh dear God. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So please do let me know down below in the comments. Any and all, drop them down below. If you're new here, hit subscribe. Make sure to share this video. It helps get it out there. And uh, yeah, if you like it, hit subscribe for more in the future. I've been Mr. H. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.